Hi, it's Kerner Tex here with a video about installing extra packages for Solus in preparation for building and installing Linux from scratch. So specifically this is about chapter 2.2 in the Linux from scratch handbook where it specifies what packages must be installed on the host system um, to in, and and what versions there must be at least um, to ensure a successful um, installation of Linux from scratch. So what I'll do first is I'll just get the web page up to show the uh, part of the manual in question. Um, so go to LFS, read online latest stable version and it's this section here host system requirements so there's all the packages that are needed and the minimum versions required and there's this script here for producing like a report on whether those packages are installed or not so what I'll do next I'm just going to get a terminal up uh, Make it a little bigger. Now this script that's on the web page, this script here, I've probably got it on a partition. So what I'm going to do is to just mount that partition. And I'll be able to run it. Um, as I say, because I've already created it, this command is the same as the command at the bottom I'm just about to run. And you'll see there's several um, command not found messages there. So these are the package that need to update. There's maybe other things, for example, this yak not found is actually a symlink to Bison because Bison's not installed, that's why that's failing. So it's generally best to go through each of these one at a time a because you might fix an error like that and b because some of these packages may pull in others that are not not installed at the moment so I save you a bit of effort so the first thing we need to do is to do bin utils as you can see this ld command is not found so um, Solus is rather unusual in all these distributions I've been using. They're generally Debian based so they use um, well, dpackage or um, apt or, um, some use yum and some use pacman but this one uses one I've never seen before called EO package. don't know what it stands for um, but this is the command we use to install um, updates or packages so do EO package install and the name of the package so in this case it's been utils oops uh, spell it correctly and you can see there it's downloading and hopefully it will start installing it okay so if I recall the script we should find yeah that bin utils is now installed and it's telling us what version is installed. So the next one we need to do is bison. And again once that's installed just run the script again to see what the next one is. And the next one we've got is diff. So diff is the program name, so if I try and install that it probably won't work because diff is actually part of a package called diffutils and the packaging are all about installing and maintaining packages rather than programs. So we do EO package install diffutils. That's that done quite quick. So if I just run the script again you can see diff is now found version 3.7 so next we need to install GCC the C compiler 
So this is simply just the yeah, package install GCC. So it's a bit of a larger package, so it'll take a little bit longer to download and install. Again, just rerun the script to find the next one, which is G++. So this is the C++ compiler. So just EO yeah, package install G++. All done. Again, run the script, and the next one we've got is M4. So once again, install M4. and rerun the script, that's fine. Now we've got make. Yep, that's good. Let's check it again. Make's installed. Next one, move on to is patch. So yeah, package make install patch. Again, check it. So there's patch installed. And the next one we need is make info. Well, again, make info is a program rather than the package. So again, if I try and install make info, it will fail because, as I say, it's a program rather than a package. The package that make info is part of is text info. So that's the package we need to install. So now if we run the script, you'll see that it's not complaining about uh, make info and it's found the text info package. So then we've got this problem here, user bin LD, it cannot, so we've got LD installed, which is what this error up here was about bin utils before, but now it's saying it cannot find a shared library um, and that's causing the um, C++ compiler to fail. So what we need to do is we need to install the development libraries for glibc to get rid of this error. So this will install the development libraries, shared libraries for the C library. So we just do EO package install glibc devel. And now if we run the script, you'll see we've got no errors at all. The G++ compilation is okay. All that needs to be done now is to just go through these versions, check that they're greater than or equal to the versions in chapter 2.2. And once that's done, we can carry on with the rest of the book, uh, building Linux from scratch. If you found this uh, video helpful, please like it. And if you'd like to hear more or see more of my videos in the future, subscribe to my channel um, and get notifications about them. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.